before or if you've seen any of the training videos that we have on our YouTube channel um, welcome back we've recorded a lot of these in the past so um, odds are you may have seen an archived version but if you've been on the live ones um, before it's great to have you in attendance again um, just for the record right off the bat we will be recording this so if you do need to leave a little bit early or if uh, we go over something that you may need to touch on again down the road um, you're certainly welcome to uh, look at the recording we'll have it hosted on our YouTube channel and probably our blog I would say maybe by tomorrow or so um, give me just a minute looks like we already have a question that's coming through it looks like somebody said it's their first webinar awesome good good to see some new people some fresh blood on this so uh, hopefully this is valuable um just kind of off the bat for all of you first timers here, I do want to uh, point out that these webinars are kind of a two-step process. Uh, we first go over a couple high-level elements of the AvantLink affiliate interface. Uh, most of you who've been on these before, this is going to be information that uh, you've seen and you heard, you've heard before and you're probably already pretty familiar with it. Um, but we do like to go over kind of the core essential elements of the AvantLink interface for affiliates that you need to be aware of when you are participating on the AvantLink network. So we're just going to touch on a couple uh, major high points there. Now the second half of these webinars look at strategy suggestions and some tool instructions on how to use them and how to tie them in with your affiliate marketing efforts. And of course today's topic is going to be looking at uh, the most successful ways we've seen to tie in text ads with your content as an affiliate and ways to try to make your, your affiliate marketing as non-intrusive as possible. Now I will warn everybody up front, this is going to be a rather basic webinar. It's kind of ba back to uh, the most basic elements of affiliate marketing here, but it's a good refresher, and we're also going to be looking at a number of different tools that you can use as an affiliate to create those custom text links to, uh, to put in your content. Um, so hopefully that'll be really uh, helpful for everyone here. In the meantime, let's take a quick look at one thing I just want to show everybody. Uh, by default, everyone here on the webinar is muted. If you have a question at any time, though, you're always welcome to uh, put it in the question box and actually type it out. Or if it's something you'd rather um, go ahead and ask me directly, you can go ahead and hit this little hand raise icon in your GoTo uh, webinar control panel. Now, I'm hoping everybody can see my screen and see this. Um, and this is kind of always a fun part. We like to make sure that everybody's paying attention. So we're going to test just to make sure that everybody uh, has access to their hand raise icon button here. Um, so I'm going to ask you a quick question. If you can see my screen and hear me okay, uh, go ahead and raise your hand. It's always fun to see who's paying attention here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Lots of hands up. Good, good, good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put them all down. Uh, once again, if you do have questions uh, down the road, um, feel free to raise your hand and I will um, try to answer your question as best I can. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, today we are going to be looking at a, um, an account interface um, through my own private account here that I use for demonstration purposes like this. Uh, your affiliate account interface should look the exact same. Everything that we're going to be looking at uh, should be very similar. So um, let's go ahead and get started with a couple main elements on the home screen here. Now when you log in every single time you log in there's a couple uh, information bits that you should be checking out every single time that you do log into your account and the first of course is going to be up here in this quick stats area um, the quick stats box is just going to be a very high level summary of all the information that you need to be aware of with your affiliate marketing efforts and that's going to include very vital stats like ad impressions click throughs the number of sales that you have and even sales totals there's a lot more here but um, I'll just kind of leave that up to uh, to you to kind of explore and look through um, just know that every time you log in, these are real-time stats, so this is actually going to reflect directly what's going on within your affiliate account. Um, over here to the right is probably the most important one, though. Um, any sort of major announcements that you need to be aware of. Now, many of you probably found out about this training webinar through this particular announcement right here. But uh, we also have other announcements for things like new tool functionality or new updates to the actual network or interface that you need to be aware of. So if there is an announcements box uh, when you log in, make sure you're actually paying attention to the content uh, within that box because it's generally pretty important for you as affiliate to be aware of. 
I'm going to skip down here real quick and uh, talk about new merchants. This is a great little RSS feed here within your account interface that talks about any new merchants that have recently launched programs on the Avant Link network. Um, you can also subscribe to this through RSS. So if you uh, are an RSS user, you can go ahead and get this stuff delivered directly to you through an RSS feed, which is kind of nice to just stay on top of um, any uh, major new merchants that may have launched a program with Avant Link. Um, there's a bunch of different inter, um, information points here as well, but I would say the quick stats, the announcements, and the new merchants are really the ones that you want to be aware of every time you log in. Now let me take a look. It looks like we may have had one question, but it looks like we're good now. Okay, perfect. Um, next thing we want to touch on really quickly is merchant applications. So if you're a new affiliate, which I recognize or I don't recognize rather a couple names on this uh, on this webinar, so I'm guessing that there are a few of you who are new. Um, if you're a new affiliate though, you'll want to of course start to apply to merchant programs. And the way to do that is to come up here to this merchants tab. And what this is going to do is take you to a screen that has a, basically a full-blown list of every merchant that is uh, available for you to represent on the Avant Link network. Now, a couple things. You can first sort out all exclusive merchants, meaning that merchants that don't have a program on any other network outside of Avant Link, by clicking this little checkbox here. And if you hit Get Merchants, that'll reorder all merchants down here to show only exclusive ones. And you can see the uh, exclusive merchants are denoted by this little Avant Link try symbol right here. But for now, I'm just going to kind of keep every merchant out. Um, you can also sort merchants by their status. So if you want to uh, search for any merchants that you do not have a relationship with versus affiliates, or I'm sorry, uh, merchants that you may have uh, an active relationship with already. Now for this demonstration, I'm just going to put no relationship with. Maybe we want to apply to a program. Looks like we have a question here. Give me just a minute. Oh, perfect. Uh, looks like Kyle, you'll be leaving, but yes, we will have this recorded a uh, little bit later on. Um, and once again, this this uh, webinar recording will be made available through our YouTube channel and our blog as well. So for anybody who needs to uh, leave a little bit early, this will be made available probably tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that. Um, going back to the merchant applications, if there's a merchant that you like, and once again, I'm looking for all merchants that are available for me to apply to, say I want to uh, come down here to all sports protection, all I need to do is come over here to where it says details apply, but before I do that, I should just point out that we do offer some very high level uh, data points about each and every merchant. So the commission rate, the referral days, the average conversion rate, um, and a couple different uh, high level information points that you'll probably want to be aware of before you actually apply to each and every one of these merchant programs. Now if I like what I see here, I can come over here to this details apply option, and it's going to take me to a screen that breaks down basically all of the information about this particular merchant. And down here at the very bottom, I can accept the terms and conditions and apply. Now, when I apply, that doesn't mean I have instant access for the most part. Many merchant programs go through a manual approval process where they want to see the uh, affiliates who have applied to their programs and manually approve them. But most of these program managers are very responsive, and once you've applied to a program, you'll usually have access um, very shortly after. As a side note, when you do apply to a program, we give your application for each and every program a seven day time frame. So if the program manager does not take action within that seven days to either approve or deny your application, you'll be automatically approved into that program. So for all intents and purposes, just know that there's a seven day threshold where in that time you will absolutely def receive a definitive answer if you will be involved in the program or not. So there we go. That's merchant applications and applying to different programs on the network. Uh, next up is going to be reports and notifications. So, of course, as an affiliate, you want to be obviously very aware of what's going on in your um, affiliate marketing world and seeing what your efforts are actually producing. And there's a couple ways to do this. First is to come over here to this report section. And I'm not going to get into too many details because the reports are so robust. Just know that basically any, any interaction through your affiliate links on any one of your sites that you may be running is recorded in real time 
on Avantlink. Well, maybe not so much real time. There's generally about a two minute delay, but it's very close to real time. Um, a couple of the high level points that we report on are going to be things like ad impressions, click throughs, the number of sales. And just be aware that any number that's blue, if there's a number populated in there, you can actually go ahead and break that number down even further. So, uh, for example, I have 13 clicks today through the Camp Saver affiliate program. I'm going to click on that. Maybe I want to see what affiliate website it was of mine that actually generated those clicks and for what merchant. Um, I'm going to click on those total click throughs. It's going to show me what tool I actually used. And then finally, one more time, it's actually going to give me the referral URL. So, what, where the actual referrals were coming from. Um, this, of course, is just one example of one more granular report for one data point, and that was, you know, seeing exactly some, you know, specific information on click-throughs. As I'm sure you can imagine, these reports get very robust and very granular. So, if you're an analytics junkie and you like to see what activity is going on through your affiliate marketing efforts, reports are your friend. Um, one other thing to note is that in the report screen here, if you come up here to this area that says Show Report Form, it gives you access to a bunch of different type of reports. So you can limit reports based on merchant grouping or specific merchants or by day or by hour, um, whatever it may be. We also have a bunch of click and impression tracking reports as well as sale and commission specific reports. So that's just a very robust way of keeping track of all of the you know real high level points and activity through your affiliate marketing efforts. One thing I do want to report or um, show off real quick is on the home screen Everything in your quick stats box here will immediately link directly out to your uh, corresponding report. So maybe I want to see the click through breakdown for today. Instead of going to the reports and actually figuring that individual report, um, I can actually come over here to the 15. Just click on that, and it's going to actually give me a full breakdown of each and every one of the uh, click throughs that I've had today and through what affiliate website and the total click throughs, etc., etc. So that's just kind of a good way to hot link to the reporting of all of the very high level uh, information points that you'll probably want to be aware of on a daily basis. Um, with reports, though, let's go over here to the account section up here at the top, and I'm going to uh, direct your attention over here to the notification center option down here towards the bottom. Now, there's a lot of things in the Notification Center, but for affiliates who may not necessarily be logged into their uh, affiliate account each and every hour of you know every day, which is, I'm guessing, all of you, um, you'll want to still be informed anytime there's a major happening through your affiliate efforts. And the best way to do this is to do things called the event notification subscriptions through email. Um, this is nice because basically what happens here is if you make a sale through any one of your uh, affiliate links, what you can do is you can actually uh, sign up to be notified anytime a transaction occurs through one of your affiliate links, and you'll be sent an email anytime you know a sales made or maybe a reversal was posted. Um, it's just a great way to stay on top of any major activity through your affiliate uh, efforts when you're not necessarily logged into your account. So check out the notification center. We also have a couple additional items here, including our Mozilla Firefox add-on, which is actually something we're going to be looking at here in just a moment, and then mobile phone applications. So if you're an Android or iOS user, um, take a look at the applications here. Basically what those applications do is port in all of the quick stats information right here on your home screen, but give it to you in a very handy app on your mobile device. So that, again, is a great way to stay on top of your affiliate marketing efforts outside of being logged into your account here on avantlink.com. Okay, last thing on the account, or the interface training rather, is going to be the support section. Um, if you have any questions at any time on your account or on anything that may be related to affiliate marketing in general, you're always welcome to contact our awesome support team here. Uh, you can do that by coming over here to support and scrolling down all the way to the bottom to where it says submit a support request ticket. Um, if you submit a support request ticket through this form here, we actually keep records of it so you can go back and reference it through your account as well. Um, so it's kind of a nice way to archive any support history tickets that you may have uh, open or cl even closed with our support team. Um, before you submit a support request ticket though, if it is a question on any tools that we have or even a couple high level questions about account management, um, I would recommend that you come here to this screencast series section where we actually have very good tutorial videos on not only all the tools but some best practices through account management um, and a couple different other subjects that really help you, uh, you know, kind of answer the most frequently asked questions there are that we see come through the support channel. So that is there as an ongoing resource. 
And that kind of wraps it up for the interface training. Like I said, these are just very high level uh, points that you need to be aware of every time that you log into your account. Now let's get to the real fun part of today's uh, training and strategy session though. And that of course is how to tie in um, custom links and how to build affiliate marketing in with your content in the most non-intrusive way possible. Before I get into that and before we launch into that kind of secondary part of this though, do we have any questions on anything we've covered or maybe even something that we haven't in the interface? Any questions at all? Remember that if you um, do want to uh, actually ask a question instead of typing it in, you can hit your go to meeting hand raise icon button right here. And um, that will allow you to uh, let me know that you have a question and I can unmute you. So at any time, don't uh, hesitate to raise that uh, little button right there in your go to webinar control panel. Okay, let's actually go ahead and get into the strategy segment then. This is uh, where I'm guessing most of you actually, uh, uh, or why most of you have actually um, come to uh, this webinar, and this is where things get a little bit fun. Um, we are going to be looking at a blog that I run called Outdoor Gear Reviews, uh, and the post and content that we generate today, you can actually go back to OutdoorGearReviews.com and feel free to reference it at any time, um, play around with the links, look at how it's integrated in the content as an ongoing resource here. Uh, before I do that, looks like we have one quick question. Um, looks like question is, is this a good forum for JavaScript in integration instruction? Um, no, it is not. Uh, not right now, at least, because we are going to be looking at um, custom links. Sorry, this is a little off topic. Uh, the question was about how to implement um, add structure versus, um, you know, with an HTML uh, setup versus a JavaScript setup, but that's actually not going to be our concern because what we're looking at today is how to generate custom links, custom links to specific products. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we're actually going to be utilizing today. Um, for those of you who are familiar with WordPress, this is all going to look very familiar to you. Um, Outdoor Gear Reviews, of course, is used on a WordPress theme, but this should be applicable to anybody who is not, who's using, you know, any content generation platform um, outside of just WordPress. Now, um, here is a post that I have put together already, um, and we're actually going to be publishing this. So this is going to be a long tail, you know, ongoing established post that I've done on a jacket review called the Marmot Zeus. And of course, as an affiliate, I want to make sure that I'm monetizing this content, but doing so in a way that doesn't really turn off my readers, uh, you know, with maybe a bunch of flashing banner ads or some overt ways of actually advertising. I want to make sure that my affiliate marketing efforts are tied in to my content as much as possible. Looks like we have uh, one more question. For a specific date range, is there a report to see aggregated commission by deta uh, details by refer? Um, Brandon, that, that's a good question. Um, why don't you hit up the support with that? Um, that gets a little bit more specific with the reports. Um, so if you can actually reach out to uh, support at avantlink.com, that is a great question. Um, that one involves a couple additional little tweaks that I think might be a little bit uh, much to address here on a webinar. So we'd be happy to answer that through a support email. Great question, though. Okay, sorry guys, let's go ahead and get back to uh, to this um, content here. So we're going to be looking at a couple different ways of actually integrating in affiliate links with this content. And I'm going to show you basically what we've seen from a network perspective on how to integrate this in, as well as the different tools that we can use to generate custom links. Now, for everybody who's hearing my voice, um, for those who aren't familiar with custom links, when I say custom links, I'm talking about those links that refer to a very specific product. They are affiliate links that I generate as an affiliate that lead to a very specific landing page on a merchant site that I am an affiliate for. And I'll show you what this means in just a moment, okay? So in this content right here, again, we're reviewing a jacket called the Marmot Zeus. And what I want to do, first off, is to come down here where I have my first mention of Marmot Zeus. Now, the very most basic way that we can um, reference an affiliate link in the content is to actually put up a raw affiliate link. So what I want to do is after Marmot Zeus, I'm actually going to go ahead and put up a raw affiliate custom link right after this. And here's how we're going to do this. Um, first off, let's go back to the affiliate screen right here. And we're going to look at an ad tool called the Custom Link Builder. So that's going to be about halfway down this list, and I'm going to have the uh, option of creating a custom link. 
Now, before we even go into this configuration screen, there is one thing I want to do. I've gone ahead and I have uh, selected, uh, pre-selected at least, a few um, product pages on merchant sites that I am an affiliate for. So the first one that we want to do is a product page for the actual jacket in question here, and that's a Marmot Zeus. And this is on Tahoe Mountain Sports. I am, of course, an affiliate for these uh, for these people here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this link right here, and you'll see why in just a minute. Now, if I come back to this create a custom link form, what I want to do is just kind of run down it real quick. So the place that we just looked at was Tahoe Mountain Sports. So I'm going to go ahead and select that as the merchant that I'm creating a custom link for. So right down here towards the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and select the website that I put this on. So this, of course, is Outdoor Gear Reviews. And then right here, the merchant landing page URL. Basically, I'm going to paste in that product-specific landing page that we just took from Tahoe Mountain Sports for the Marmot Zeus. And I'm going to place it in here. Basically, this is just saying, where do you want your custom link to point? Now, there's a couple additional options here, and one thing that I actually am going to touch on is a URL shortening service, so maybe I want to actually change this from being a full-on Avant link link, and I'll actually show you what this looks like. So if I hit Get HTML, this is what our custom affiliate link looks like right here. But maybe I want to shorten this down a little bit. Maybe I actually want to make this into a shortened link to make it a little bit more streamlined for my end user. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Get HTML. And you'll see right here that that affiliate link that we were just looking at has now been changed into a uh, shortened bit.ly link. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And I'm going to come over here to this post. And I'm actually going to throw in that link right here. So now anybody who's looking at the Marmot Zeus has an immediate resource to learn a little bit more about this particular jacket. But this is going through an affiliate link too. So if somebody does go to the Tahoe Mountain Sports site and makes a purchase, I of course will get commission for that. Now, this is a little unsightly, okay? So posting raw links like this is a little bit, eh, maybe it's not the most aesthetically pleasing. Uh, it's still a little bit intrusive just kind of having the link up there. So the other option is, of course, to embed links within the content, actually associate a hyperlink with a bit of text. So the next thing that I want to show you is how to generate a, uh, a custom link using our WordPress plugin. And I'm going to associate a specific product, in fact, the, uh, Canadi or the Canada Goose Expedition Parka, with this little bit of text right here. So the Avant Link WordPress plugin is a really neat little um, tool for anybody who does blog on WordPress that allows you to do a lot of um, kind of basic affiliate marketing tactics through your Avant, or your WordPress interface rather than going to your avantlink.com interface here. And that includes things like creating custom links, um, searching for uh, different ad um, campaigns through different merchants, um, and a lot more different functionality that I'm not a get, going to get into in this webinar. Of course, the thing that we want to look at today is how to build the custom link. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy this text right here. So I'm going to create a custom link that I want to embed into this Canada Goose Expedition Parka. And I'm going to come up here once again to the Avant Link uh, WordPress plugin symbol. And I'm going to go to Custom Link. Now I should point out really quickly before I go any further, for any affiliates who are interested in using the WordPress plugin, it's very easy to do. You just go to Add Tools right here, and then Avant Link WordPress plugin and download, and that's it. Um, of course, we do have a little bit of instruction on how to actually get it set up on your WordPress site, but for any of you who've used a plugin before, it should be pretty straightforward. Um, so let's come back to this. So we're going to build a custom link using this uh, plugin, and I have already gone ahead and selected a merchant who sells this particular parka in question, so the Canada Goose Expedition Parka. And this is done through Peter Glynn Ski and Sports here. So I'm going to come back here. I'm going to say select Peter Glynn as my merchant that I'm creating a custom link for. Um, before I actually choose the individual uh, landing page URL, I'm going to drop in the particular link display text. So basically, what display text do I want to actually be tied into this custom link? And then I'm going to come over here and once again grab this default landing page for this particular product and drop it in to this merchant landing page URL and hit insert. 
And just like that, you'll see that that particular bit of text has now been encoded with a raw Avant Link affiliate link. So anybody who clicks on this will now be taken to the Canadian uh, or Canada Goose Expedition Parka page through an affiliate link. Now we'll actually test out all the all these links here in a minute, um, but for the time being, we'll just uh, view them in this edit screen before we actually publish the post. Um, one thing I am going to do just real quick is kind of a side note. I'm actually going to go ahead and make that a link right there as well. Perfect. Okay, so that's how to um, create custom links through the Avant Link WordPress tool. Um, again, this plugin is fantastic for those who do a lot of blogging and content creation within a WordPress structure, and it's great for not only utilizing merchant ads, but custom links and affiliate link encoders and many more of our advanced tools that I'm not going to cover here. Uh, if you would like to learn a little bit more about the WordPress plugin, you can always, again, come to um, the Add Tools section in your Avant Link account, come down here to the WordPress section, and then we have a training video that kind of covers the high level uh, need to know functionality um, of the WordPress plugin. Now, if you want to learn a little bit more about it, we have many additional videos um, in our support section right here where it says Avant Link WordPress plugin tutorials. Again, this is a very robust plugin and you can use it to not only generate custom links, but it does a lot more than that. So take some time, get familiar with it if you are a WordPress user. Looks like we have a quick question. Uh, do these custom links open in a new tab or window? Is that an option? That is an excellent question. Um, the By default, I don't think we have that option available through the WordPress um, plugin here. If you do go to um, the custom link builder, I think we have that option there, but I'll give you a little uh, kind of roundabout quick edit on how to actually make sure any one of these uh, links opens up in a new uh, tab. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually come here to the raw text editing screen of my uh, of my post. Now you'll see that we're going from the visual editor and to the actual text editor. And if you come down, you'll see we've just associated an affiliate link with once again the Canada Goose Expedition Parka. And you can see that we actually have the link right here. So this is the raw link that we've just associated with this. Now going back to your question Dennis, um, to make it so that this link actually opens up in a new tab you have to add this right here. All you have to do is put target equals um, quotation mark underscore and then put blank. And if you add that target equals blank add-on to any um, to any anchor tag right here that has your link in it if you just append that to any link right there that will make it so that link opens up in a new tab and you can do that to any link whether it's a custom link or a default um, you know merchant ad that you have that you're pulling you know maybe it's even like a banner ad that has a link like this anytime you add target equals underscore blank that'll force the link to open up in a new tab so people stay on your site that's a very good question though and something I definitely encourage all of your links to have appended to it um, let's go ahead and take a look then at the next tool. Um, and what I want to do is I want to come down here and I want to associate a, a, a custom link with both my images right here and right here that actually lead to this particular page right here. Now, I know we've just created a, um, a custom link for this particular uh, landing page on Tahoe Mountain Sports, but I want to show you another way to go ahead and do this. Um, I'm going to actually do this through Firefox because what we're going to be looking at here is our Firefox plugin. We should have one coming for Chrome very soon that allows you instant custom link um, uh, uh, creation abilities here. Looks like we've got one more tool. Um, thanks, I knew about the process, or the HTML process, just wondered about the possible built-in functionality. Um, once again, we do have that option through the custom link builder through our um, account interface, but that may be a good option to consider adding into our WordPress plugin. Um, Dennis, if you could actually do me a favor and actually submit that functionality request to support at avantlink.com, just ask to see through, um, well, let me just double check and actually make sure that we don't have it in here already. I'm 99% sure that we don't. So if we don't, if you could just write in to, um, yeah, it doesn't look like we have the ability to add a uh, target equals blank to the link. So uh, if you could just write into support at avantlink.com and request that, we'll see what we can do to turn that around real fast and add that functionality into the WordPress theme or WordPress plugin. 
Okay, perfect. Um, so what I was saying before is we're going to be looking at how to make a custom link through our uh, Firefox plugin here. Now I'm going to go ahead and just copy this URL. Once again, this is the Tahoe Mountain Sports uh, Marmot Zeus page, and I want to create a custom link from this and associate it with uh, the pictures that I have on my post here, as well as one other spot where I mentioned the price of the Marmot Zeus jacket. Now, if I was a Firefox user, all I would have to do once I download the Firefox uh, add-on or extension to Firefox here is come down here to where you can see this little Avant Link Try down at the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and click this option screen and hit Create an Affiliate Link to this page. Oop. My bad. I forgot to put in the actual link first. So I want to go to Tahoe Mountain Sports and actually I go to the landing page with the product that I want. So now all I have to do since I'm there is say Create an Affiliate Link to this page. And you'll see that, boom, instantly, it creates that raw affiliate link right there. So I've created that. I'm going to come back to this post page. And one interesting way that we've seen people um, um, append or use affiliate links in a very non-intrusive way is actually associate it with their images. So I'm actually going to come over here to this edit image file, and I'm actually going to say, instead of linking out if somebody clicks on this to the raw image, what I want to do, if my internet decides to work here, is I actually want to change the destination URL to that affiliate link that I just created. So now that I've updated that, anytime somebody clicks on this picture, it's going to take them to that landing page on Tahoe Mountain Sports for the Marmot Zeus, instead of actually going to the image page. And that's a very, again, non-intrusive, streamlined way. It doesn't take away from the content. You're not overtly advertising. It's just an additional resource for somebody to learn about the product that's being pictured here. One more thing, I'm going to come down here. And because I actually mentioned that uh, I, you can find the jacket for as low as $150 on sale, I'm going to actually go ahead and associate uh, the link that we just made through the Firefox plugin with that text right here. So again, that is not a you know a flashy in your face advertisement there. That's actually a resource. Somebody wants to see where it's at for $150 on sales within the content. All they have to do is click on that custom link. Now uh, let's just really quickly look at where you can download the Firefox plugin. Um, again, I'm going to go back to my account screen here and go to Add Tools. Or I'm sorry, it's actually not under Add Tools. It's under Account here and Notification Center. We looked at this just before when we mentioned the Firefox add-on. You can go ahead and get that. Now, the Firefox add-on does way, way more than just allow you to um, create a custom link. It actually ports in, as you could uh, see on this Firefox um, window here, it ports in information that just kind of cycles through. So your ad impressions, click-throughs, uh, basically everything that you would see in your Quick Stats box right here will be included in the information available through your um, Firefox add-on. So that is a wonderful option. If you're a Firefox user, I'd highly recommend that. Okay, let's look at the very last uh, way to create a custom link. And I'm going to actually recommend one additional way to include uh, custom links through in your content here. Now, in this post, I at the very end, I talk about some similar jackets like the Marmot Zeus, that are worth checking out. Some high fill, very warm um, down jackets that, uh, that I think my readers would be interested in. Now, in the past, we have talked about a custom link generator called the Snaplinker. I am a huge fan of the Snaplinker. If any of you people uh, who are on this webinar have been on one in the past, you've likely heard me sing the Snaplinker's praises. I love it. Very easy tool to use, especially when it comes to um, immediately generating a custom link. So I'm going to show you how this works before actually showing how to set it up. So I of course want to generate a custom link to the North Face Thermoball Full Zip right here, that jacket, and then an Arc'teryx uh, LT Down jacket right here. Now once again I've gone ahead and uh, pre-selected these product pages on uh, Jans.com, another great affiliate program that I am currently an affiliate for. And I want to create again a custom link to both of these products and use it in a recommended similar products list right here. Now that's kind of the strategy. One thing we see to be very effective with custom links is to actually generate a list of things that talk about, you know, 
recommended products that are similar to maybe what you're talking about or even recommended brands for example or if you have say like a how to post that's maybe talking about how to you know build something or maybe your favorite ski gear you can actually list out the individual products mentioned in this really easy to you know kind of digest list right here it's a very very effective tactic that we see many affiliates use especially when you pair it with um, custom links that actually take you to the direct product that you're mentioning in the list so that's kind of a strategy best tip there if you can you know list out individual products in a relevant way to the rest of the content whether it's a you know here's what it, here's all the products or brands that I talked about in this content or maybe some similar products down here uh, that's a very effective marketing strategy now, going back to what I was talking about, I want to create a custom link to these two product pages here using a tool called the Snap Linker. Now, the Snap Linker is what we call a bookmarklet. And the bookmarklet is just this right up here. It's this little, um, it's not a bookmark to a web page, but it's a bookmark to some JavaScript code that does something very specific. And in this case, all I have to do to create a custom link to this particular page is click Snap Linker. And you'll see that up here, it instantly generates an Avant Link link as well as a shortened link for this particular product here. Now, the Snap Linker has a bunch of different functionality as well for those who actually want to embed some HTML in their site, but I'm not going to get into that here. I'm just going to focus on its instant ability to create a shortened or a, an affiliate link and a shortened version of that link. So here I've just created an affiliate link for the uh, North Face Thermo Ball jacket. And I'm going to come here and once again embed that into my content as a shortened link. And then I'm going to do the same for this Arcteryx jacket. Now once again, I want you to see just how easy it is to get this particular um, URL here, in this case from jans.com, as an affiliate link. All I have to do is click Snap Linker. Done. There's my affiliate link there. There's my shortened version of the link here. Um, sometimes the Snap Linker is actually able to pull in uh, details on the retail price if there's any sort of discounted uh, price as well. But um, in this case, it wasn't able to, hence the notifications. But we were still able to generate an affiliate link instantly. Um, the Snap Linker is an awesome tool. If you're looking at doing any sort of custom link building, I would recommend that you you get this immediately. Uh, we're actually going to take a look at how to configure this in just a minute um, for use in your browser, but just to kind of finalize things, I'm going to go ahead and add the link here. So you'll see now that my two extra recommended products that I would say people should check out if they like the Marmot Zeus jacket are now linked up to through affiliate custom links that we've just generated using the Snap Linker. Now, uh, really quickly, I do want to show you actually how to configure the Snap Linker. So I'm actually going to go ahead and delete that from my bookmarks bar. And I am going to come up here. Whoop. Don't know why that timed out. Um, I'm going to come up here to this Add Tools section. And to get the Snap Linker, you need to look into our App Market. Now, if you're not familiar with our App Market, the App Market is an area where we allow third-party developers to create really cool affiliate marketing tools and make them available to you as affiliates. Um, think of it as kind of the um, App Store on the iPhone or the Android um, Play or the Google Play Store uh, for anybody who uses an Android device. Uh, so all you have to do is come down here to uh, Avant Link App Market, hit Browse Apps, and at the very bottom you'll see Snap Searcher listed. And to get the Snap Searcher, ladies and gentlemen, it is so easy. Um, I'm going to click on this page. It's going to load a configuration screen right here. I do apologize for the slow internet. We've had some issues with, uh, oh, whoops, my bad. That is the wrong one I clicked on. Uh, we want to do Snap Linker. Sorry, right here. Second one down. And you'll see that the Snap Linker has been instantly configured right there. So we're going to give it just a minute. And all I have to do, once it's been configured, is drag this little button whoop, right up here to my bookmarks bar. And guys, that's it. That's it. All I have to do to create instant custom links through the Snap Linker is drag this right up to my bookmarks bar. And now anywhere I'm at online, uh, you know, from here, let's even go to another one. We'll, we'll look at that, uh, the Marmot Zeus jacket one that we've been referencing again. Okay. All I have to do when I'm on this site, once it decides to load, looks like we've got a question. Um, quick question says if you are hyperlinking text the actual URL is not visible is there a specific benefit for using the shortened URL uh, versus the actual affiliate link that is an 
awesome question, Brandon. Um, and honestly, there there's no scientific proven fact that I can say, yeah, it's better to use shortened links rather than the actual raw, uh, the, you know, the raw affiliate link that we generate. It's more from an aesthetics perspective. So let me give you an example. Say I have a big Facebook page, okay? So, you know, Facebook.com, say Outdoor Gear Reviews has an awesome Facebook following. And maybe I actually want to post up an affiliate link there where I'm saying, like, hey, guys, I just, you know, I just reviewed the Ultra Torrens here. Um, take a look at them. And instead of posting up a, uh, you know, let's uh, snap linker this just real quick. So instead of posting up maybe something like this on my Facebook uh, group page, maybe I want to do something a little bit more um, kind of shortened like this. So it's not taking up a bunch of space on the actual post. Maybe users are a little bit more inclined to pick um, or click rather on something that's shortened rather than a massive long affiliate link. Um, there's really no demonstrable difference in terms of the actual performance of the ads or um, exactly what's going on in terms of uh, um, you know like like the functionality behind the scenes it's just an aesthetics preference here great question though um, you know what it looks like we actually have another question give me just a moment here um, Matt I am gonna go ahead and take you off of mute here what can I help you out with Uh, Matt, looks like you're off of mute. Uh, any question? Right. Yeah, that's a great question. Um, so I'm going to put you back on mute uh, just for a moment. Uh, so tracking IDs, we do have the ability to um, put in custom tracking codes for each and every one of the uh, the custom links that you create. So that's a great question. Uh, let's actually go back. I'm going to kind of show you the, the most raw demo of this here. Um, and I'm going to go back to the custom link builder. Uh, once again, um, I'm going to go ahead and copy this um, Tahoe Mountain Sports link. And I'm just going to go ahead and configure this custom link very quickly. And what I can do here is I can actually come down here to a custom tracking code. So like you were asking, if you wanted to maybe uh, put out you know, a link that had a certain custom tracking code, and the custom tracking code can be anything that you want, I'm going to put test A. And then I can hit get HTML. Now on the other hand, I can create another custom link that has test B appended to it and I can put get HTML. And you'll see that right in here, there's actually a CTC parameter that has test B and test A for both of the ones that I've just created. Now, going back to your question, you can actually then go to reports and run reports based on the custom, um, links that have that specific custom tracking code. So I can say test A and select the reports for the performance summary for any affiliate links involving that custom tracking code or reports for those that say test B. Um, so hopefully that answers your question. Um, let me uh, just take a look here at the questions box as well. Um, Matt, if that or if the, okay, great. It looks like that answers your question. Um, another question from Neil: Do you need to use the Snap Linker only on merchants that you were approved for? Excellent question, and the answer is uh, a resounding yes. Um, keep in mind that. Um, any one of these custom link features that we've just covered in this webinar only work if you're using it on the site of a merchant that you are already an approved affiliate for. So if I didn't have an existing affiliate relationship with Tahoe Mountain Sports, the Snap Linker would not work. So um, I'm just going to go somewhere real quick. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a live example of this. I'm just going to go to Zappos.com. Okay, So currently we don't run an affiliate program for Zappos. So if I wanted to create an affiliate link for this, you'll see that no affiliate information was found for this website. Um, now that will pop up anytime you try to create a link for a, an affiliate uh, or for a merchant page rather that you do not have a relationship with for so it's not like you can accidentally create a custom link um, very very good question though okay um you know what we're at 11:45. Uh, we have 15 minutes left before it's an hour-long thing who wants to see a bonus um, a really cool tool. It doesn't have anything to do with custom links, but it's something that I've been using personally on my um, on my website here. If you guys want to see a little bonus tool, or if you have the time, go ahead and raise your hand, uh, your your go to meeting hand, just to see who's paying attention here. 
Nice. Okay, we have a lot of people who are paying attention here. This is fantastic. Thank you, everyone, for actually uh, paying attention. Hopefully, this has been useful. Okay, overwhelming majority of you say yes. Let's take a look at a uh, uh, another tool here. Um, this one is called the buy button. And um, if you go to OutdoorGearReviews.com, you can actually see this button being used on some of the posts that I have in um, in the past. Give me just a moment here. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down to this existing um, um, uh, post that I have on these Ultra Torrens here. And I'm going to come down. You can see that I've reviewed it. I've had some pictures. And now I have this really cool, very unique button that says Buy Now. Basically, what I need to do is if I click on this, it brings up this immediate price comparison that does a search for any search term that I specify. And in this case, it would be the Ultra Torrent. So now basically what's happening is this buy button's combing the data feeds of all the merchants that I'm an affiliate for and giving me some you know results that are based on the criteria that I put in. In this case, it's a search for Ultra Torrent. And this is awesome because it goes and it shows you the cheapest price for this particular shoe from many different merchants that you are an affiliate for. How handy is that? That's an instant thing. And once again, this was a very clever tool developed in the app market. So let me go ahead and take a couple minutes here just to show you how this is actually set up. And we're going to do the exact same thing for this Marmot Zeus uh, post that we have right here. And I've actually created uh, a little area where it says check it out online. So my goal, of course, is to put the buy button right in here. So we're going to go back to my affiliate account right here. And we're going to go to add tools. And then we're going to drop down once again. Up, oh, looks like uh, we're having some connection difficulties. If you guys can't hear me, or if I'm coming through uh, patchy, I'm so sorry. Once again, our Comcast here has been just up and down this week, so hopefully you're still able to uh, hear me and see my screen just fine. Um, let's get back to this though. So the ad tools um, coming down here to the Avant Link app market, and once again, we are going to browse the applications that we have here. And this, of course, is the buy button. We're looking at the buy button this time. And the buy button is this fantastically simple way to configure one of these price comparison search tools. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and build a buy button using the button builder right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that link. And what it does is it's going to take me to this uh, configuration screen. And what I want to do is I want to actually go ahead and use the buy button to search for different products. You, if you have a direct link to a specific page, so say I want to link directly to this using the buy button, all I have to do is port in this URL and use it as a direct link, but we don't want that. We want a dynamic search among all of our merchants. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here to this search term option right here. And once I click on that, it brings me to a very easy search configuration screen. So I'm actually going to go ahead and put in Marmot Zeus, right there, the name of the jacket. Um, I can, of course, search for any negative terms and put in a brand. Um, I do want to put in Marmot here as well. And I'm going to go ahead and preview the search results so I can see exactly what it looks like. And boom, Marmot Zeus, right there. Totally, totally searching every single one of the merchants that I am an affiliate for. How cool is that? Okay, so I'm going to hit next right here be taken to the next screen. I can uh, choose what button I would like to actually put on my site. I've been using kind of the bright orange ones to really stick out and I'm going to hit next again. Um, going back to uh, the question that we had earlier, you can also do a custom tracking code with the buy button here. So if you do want to do some A-B split tests, you can go ahead and configure multiple buy buttons for this and do different custom tracking codes. How cool is that, right? Um, so the button name, I'm going to put uh, Marmot Zeus just to kind of categorize it for myself personally and hit finish and save. Now what happens is it brings me back to this uh, page with the products that I've or with the buttons that I've created and I'm going to go ahead and get code. Now I can go back and retroactively edit this as well. Um, actually one thing I do want to edit is change the website that this is associated with. So we're going to associate that with gear comparison. Um, give me just a minute. I want to uh, Go ahead and just reconfigure that to associate it with the correct website that I'm putting it on. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get code. Oh, man. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It must be a, it must be, um, a hump day right now on Wednesday because I'm choosing the wrong... Uh, <laughs> the wrong... Uh, There we go. So I'm going to edit this. I, I'm choosing the wrong website here. My bad. Give me just two seconds here to reconfigure this. See, this is what happen, happens when I don't prepare for a little bonus tool like this. 
gets a little bit discombobulated. But here we are. We're good. Uh, it's tracking on the right website up here, so Outdoor Gear Reviews. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and get the code. Um, question, can you customize the button look styles for the buy button using a, um, a class or ID reference? That is an awesome question. Now, through this configuration screen, the answer to that is no. It doesn't have any um, ability to uh, configure what the button looks like, unfortunately. Now, um, you can... S contact the developer here and ask him to put in that functionality if you would like. Um, it's totally up to them and what features they offer, but if you're using um, on your site, if you're using a CSS override based on certain classes and, um, and elements, you actually can override the buy button and how it looks like. Um, but that's a little bit more advanced, uh, you know, so if you know CSS well and you can actually override existing CSS and replace it with current CSS that you, that you um, build on your site, then yes, you can actually go ahead and um, adjust the structure of the buy button. Um, that's a really complicated answer for, for a relatively easy question. So the answer is no, not from this configuration screen, but yes on site if you know how to do overriding CSS. Hopefully that answers your question. <laughs> um, okay, so going back to this, um, we've created the button. Now I want to actually get the code for my website. So the code is coming in two different things. So we actually need to update the JavaScript that tells the button what to do. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this first. And if you are a WordPress user, do keep in mind that when you are putting the buy button on your site, you need to make sure that you're doing it in this text edit screen right here. Because what we're doing is we're actually editing some raw code. So down here you'll see that I have the ability, or I, I found where I say check it out online. So the first thing I want to do is enter in the JavaScript code right here to actually tell the buy button what to do. Next, of course, is the little bit of code to actually show the buy button. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. I'm going to go ahead and post that in right here. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to go ahead and publish this article before I go back to the visual editor here. Because for whatever reason, WordPress loves to make it so if you switch back to the visual editor, it likes to uh, scrub out JavaScript sometimes. So <laughs> better we publish it now and actually have it work. So let's go back to OutdoorGearReviews.com. And hopefully the first one we should see is our long-term review on the Marmot Zeus jacket. And ladies and gentlemen, everything that we've just done over the last 45 minutes, including um, individual uh, text ads, or I'm sorry, um, custom link ads, rather. So you can see the uh, Canada Goose Expedition Parka. If we click on that, it takes us through an affiliate link to the Peter Glynn page that we were looking at earlier. Of course, the Marmot Zeus jacket. We'll look at that bit.ly link that we created. Redirects. Tahoe Mountain Sports with my tracking ID right there on the end. And then if we even click on one of these pictures, again, it takes you to the same place. So how handy is that? Look at that. Oh, that's very non-intrusive advertising. This, you know, this type of custom link and heavy tie-in with your content really acts as almost a content enhancement rather than, I mean, what's more effective? Somebody who wants to learn about your product by clicking on you know, relevant information links embedded in the content or having a big flashy banner ad on the side. My guess is that it would be these custom links. And our network statistics say that custom links and text ads are generally you know, more productive than almost anything else out there. Now, um, we're going to come down here and make sure the buy button's worked, and I'm going to click on this, and bada bing, bada boom, ladies and gentlemen, there it is, an instant price comparison that's getting us the cheapest price as possible. Look at that. Okay, so this one, the Marmot Zeus, is $100. So we've just saved our end user, somebody from you know the $200 MSRP to $100 right here. How awesome is that? And that's all with the buy button, which of course is a free affiliate marketing tool here on avantlink.com. Looks like we have uh, one more question. I assume that this app works um, only with AvantLink affiliate programs and not with external affiliate programs. Uh, the answer is yes. That is just a perk for being an AvantLink affiliate and uh, having your favorite affiliate programs on AvantLink.com. Now, that said, if you would like to see another affiliate program that maybe we don't have an affiliate program for, uh, if that retailer um, is somebody you would like to represent, let us know. Like, we can try to work with our BizDev team on helping them build out an affiliate program especially if they have an affiliate who's demanding that, you know, or not demanding, but would like to represent their products and work with them. That's a great way to try to get new programs on board. So if you ever have a suggestion, again, you're welcome to contact us at support at Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start.